Shimai GTA chums, this is the Draugr, also known as the Chevy Off-Road Concept. This is top tier, great car, one of the best off-roaders, if not the best off-roader in the entire game. Only 840 grand, absolute bargain, discounted this week. You need to purchase it if you're into off-road vehicles. We're going to customise it first and then we're going to take it up Mount Chiliad and see how she performs. Still as good as ever, probably. Armour and brakes, everything's upgraded to the max. So what we're going to do to start off with is a respray with a metallic paint. We'll go for something different. We seem to go for the similar kind of business. So I'm going to go for something different. I'm going to go for a red. Um, maybe Torino, maybe normal red. Torino does look a bit more vibrant. So I'm going to pick a Torino. And secondary colour, um, we can go classic white. We don't want orange, we might want a white or we might want a black. Um, let's roll down and just see where we are. I'm tempted by a white, you know, it's white makes it is clean, isn't it? Cream, ice white, I think oh frost white is the one to go for. Oh with the metallic it metallics up your struts. That's a bit annoying, but it does the same with the black as well. Black looks good, white looks good. I'm happy with either. Maybe I should go black because once you do, you don't go back. Why is it? There it is. Oh, black. There we go. Okay, we'll go black. Why not? Actually, if we go matte black, will that get rid of the. No, it doesn't get rid of the tint. Damn. Okay, um, right, that is it. Now we need to look at a livery. So we've got all sorts of business. Oh, we can put some white on a livery. There it is. With the white stripes one. Which actually looks quite decent, but let's just roll through and see where we are. Yeah, some nice liveries on this car, which I enjoy. Maybe that white one. I wanted to put incorporate some white, so that allows me to do that. Good. Let's go back to the top. So we want the uh, bumpers, front bumpers. We've got the secondary off-road, so that's why secondary off-roads. They're uh, nice. That's a nice bumper, and I like it. I'm going to leave it, I think. They're all good. <laughs> Rear bumper, let's have a look at that. Ridge shield, there's not a lot there, but this gives you a bit more protection out the rear. That's why we're keeping that for off-road, off-road build. The net doors, you can get these on the brand new Terminus as well. I do like the stock doors are very good. There's no reason to change them other than a little bit of choice that you want to have more of an off-road kind of look to it. So actually the, the tube web is good as well, but I'm going to leave them as they are because I think they're very good. Padded they'll look a little bit better than the tube but no, I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it as it is engines upgraded exhaust we got a carbon exhaust oh you got some crazy exhaust as well so this is just a carbon one don't worry about this 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 doesn't help you when you're in the water it doesn't make a damn bit of difference but you can pick those some pretty nice looking exhaust there I think you'll agree grill so oh we're just changing the scud plate that's all the skid plate I think we've got a, the probably the best one on there. I like the circles. I'm going to leave it like that. Good. And liveries we've done. Seats. Oh, we can do all sorts of seats. We've got interesting choice. You've got some really uncomfortable looking seats as well. But you've, they're all good. They're all good. Choose whatever you like. We're not going to keep. We're going to keep that. Skid plate. I thought we'd just done that. Oh, this is the rear skid plate. That's why. So this is the. As I said, I like the holes. So I'm going to leave the holes. I like a bit of hole in my skid plate. Snorkels, as I said, it doesn't it doesn't work. It doesn't make a difference going through water, but this is excellent performer at going through water. So for that reason let's just let's just remove it, why not? It doesn't make a damn bit of difference. Spoiler. Okay, this gives us a traction bonus. So we need some kind of spoiler. So what we've gone with is the carbon spoiler there. I'm gonna leave that because it adds an extra kind of accent to the to the colours. Nice. Suspension, no, this has got competition suspension. You don't have that option on the the brand new Terminus, but because it's got such great crown clearance, you're perfectly fine going competition for off-roading. Trunk, uh, yeah, we've got all sorts in here. Look at this. You, you've got that tyre, you've got a not a tyre. Maybe we should get rid of the tyre because... Oh, we should go stock because you can't see the tyre. Now it's black. You see the tyre? Oh, actually, look at that. It's a black tyre. But if you put that on it, it's a silver tyre. Because I've, I've done that trick to make my tyres black. So I love those rims. They're brilliant. So therefore, we're going to have to go with this one with double tyres. Because anything else has the silver tyre, basically. Or we can do, go with that one. That's the same kind of effect. Okay, turbo is done. 
wheels we know what they are but remember to put your bulletproofs on tire smoke is black let's go let's go let's go there we go hopefully this is a nice looking car well yes it is there we go they are black aren't they they are black those rims on the rear but if you rotate them by 90 degrees they'll go silver I suppose weird all right just as a driver right let's just drive around town have a quick drive this is a good car it corners nice it's got stiff suspensions very sporty the suspension so you will be happy with it doing a bit of driving a bit of racing obviously it's all-wheel drive all these off-roaders are all the best ones are there is one that isn't that looks like an off-roader but I'll talk about that when I review that again because I've got a spare one I sold it a while back and I seem to have a, another one I don't like it but you know, maybe I'll learn to like it anyway forget about that this is a great looking car and it's a great off-roader so for that reason, it's the best non-HSW off-roader in the game this week, for sure, because of the price. Now, the Terminus is very close. Watch my video for that to see the differences between the two. But, this is excellent. Look at that. That is great ground clearance. You cannot fail with this as an off-roader, honestly. It's so stable. And we can do the big logs, but this this the big logs are generally easier um, because those are most difficult because they're chunkier. Right, that is it. Off roading, very good. But let's do the chili ad challenge. Let's have a go at the chili. At least have a go at it um, because I'm a bit tired out. I've been doing the um, terminus all day. Long time on that. That's what you set. One, two, three, go. Now this is the best at the chili ad challenge the best I'm not gonna say this is gonna be the best on this run oh for freaks sake already I've failed and it's dry as well in the wet I did a lot better um, but I did a practice run but only one I'm used to the terminus that's my reasoning but watch my video watch my video on the um, the drogue if you want to see a decent run off-road performance um, but it gets solid Oh, come on, mate. I wasn't paying attention then. I was too busy getting on the mouse, you know, because it gets really steep up this bit. This is the easiest section of Mount Chiliad. Well, it's probably one of the easiest to go get up. Oh, no. Oh, you see what I did there? Yeah. I completely screwed it up, basically. Because I'm just getting all cocky. I'm all tired out and jiggling all over the place, and I just want to... I just like this car. It's very good, but... You know, maybe I was too hard on the Terminus. Or maybe I'm just really terrible right now. But notice there isn't... The suspension is a lot harder, so it, it moves around a lot less. It's a lot more planted than the Terminus. That is the thing you, you'll notice from this video. Um, the Terminus jiggles around a bit more, but only, I'd say, once it gets up to pace. When you're going at slow speed, the Terminus mediums or slow speed. What is that? What am I doing at all? I just don't know how to drive. That is what this video is telling me. It's 128. Look at this. I'm completely smashing that all over the place. We're at 134, and I've completely decimated. That is no chili challenge that I will own. I disown that. That is not me. Ah, uh, yeah. And I've even destroyed it for the screenshot at the end. Can I pick that bonnet up and put it back on? You should be able to pick it up, shouldn't you? Maybe I can get do it with a thing. Right. Don't take that run. Oh, but Jesus, yeah, that is a. This is a very good car. This is a top tier off-roader. It's a lot easier than I'm making it look in that that run just then. 800 grand. You cannot argue for this caliber of car. It is at the top. There's only HSW that is better with the HSW monstrosity with regards to off-road racing. But for off standard off-road racing, this is still up there. So is the brand new Terminus, but the brand new Terminus is 1.8 million. This is 800 grand, nearly a million less. So you need to buy it. It's it's an essential car for your off-road collection. If you found this video useful, look at those rims as well. Those are nice as well in black. But the new Terminus rims are, are nice as well. But the, these, maybe a bit better. Different style. It's up to you. If you found that video useful, like, subscribe, if you like me smashing it especially, but drop your comments below and I'll try my very best to answer them. Thank you very much for watching. Purchase this car this week. Thank you.